this video, we will see how to use some smart features of our thread mills. We will look at how to get the correct diameter on your thread, and how to make use of Threadbur to get a burr-free thread. How is it possible to get the correct thread diameter right from start? In production, we measure continually the pitch diameter of the tools. And this helps us calculate the theoretical external diameter of the thread mill. The external diameter has been individually laser marked on each cutter. And this value is what you should use in your program. In Smeeprog, you find the place in square 5, cutter diameter. This thread mill has laser marked the diameter 15.96 mm. We enter that value here, and the program changes. This works very well for coarse threads. You will normally be in the middle of the tolerance if you use the laser marked value. You will get the correct thread diameter right from start. Fine threads may be a little bit tight. If this is the case, in your program, you can either decrease the tool diameter or increase the thread diameter to get an approved thread. The next feature is the option you have to get the thread deburred with the same tool in the same operation. No additional time or cost for deburring and countersinking. The deburring operation is made automatically when thread milling, and you will get the thread where countersinking is not needed. Here is how it works. Threadbur is standard on all thread mills from Smikat, and there is no disadvantage to use our thread mills, even if you don't use the deburring function. To get the thread deburred, you need to know the exact cutting length of the tool. And this is laser marked on each thread mill. This is the distance you should go into the hole from the surface to get the perfect entry like you see in the picture. To get the thread deburred, we go to square 3, thread length. Here we enter the value of the complete cutting length of the tool we are using. You find that value left to square 6, 40.5 mm. In square 3, we enter 40.5. This will get the tool to make the thread in exactly the right place to get the thread deburred. Another benefit programming like this is that you are using the most stable part of the tool to make the thread. For through holes, you can always use a standard tool to get the thread deburred. Please take in mind you should use the tool as short as possible to get best stability and economy. With blind holes, it is important to have the correct cutting length on the tool to get the thread deburred. Normally you will find a suitable standard tool. If not, we can cut the tool to the correct length in one or two days at a reasonable price. For help how to calculate the cutting lengths you need, and how many teeth to cut off, please go to the Threadbur page on our website. It is also possible to get the thread deburred on both sides. We call this double thread burr. But for this operation, you need to use a custom made tool, as the thread length depends on the thickness of the material. As of now, we have seen how to use Mepro with standard thread mills from Sneak. But in some cases, you need special tools. In the next part of this series, we will see how to use Mepro with custom-made tools and tools with indexable inserts. Thank you for watching.